Hello everyone, this is the MGTOW Cowboy. Greetings and salutations. I hope this message finds all of you well and in good spirits. I wanted to make a video this evening. Um, right now I'm playing one of my favorite video games from my youth. I don't know what time it is, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, something like that. Tomorrow I have to, uh, tomorrow I have to go to court, I don't have to, but tomorrow I'm going to court with a friend to go see another friend who got into some serious trouble with the law two weeks ago. Hopefully everything works out for her, but I don't think so. I think she's in big, big trouble. I think she's going to the big house, if you know what I mean. But that's not actually why I made this, uh, that's not actually why I'm making this, uh, video today, or this morning, or whatever. Um, I wanted to make this video and talk about something that's been on my mind a lot recently, and increasingly. And, uh, you know, I don't really talk about certain parts of politics very often, but I'm going to tonight or right now, and uh, I don't really know how to broach this subject, so I'm going to be, I'm going to sort of follow um, the same ta the, the same tactics, I'm going to use the same tactics, or I'm going to use the same tact that, that I see a lot of other content producers do, uh, so I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about that thing, you know that thing? Uh, that real big thing that, that has supposedly swept the globe in the last year and a half. And how uh, we're being told that, that we're, all, <laughs> we're all in serious danger. And uh, we all need to accept, uh, you know, we all got to get stuck with something real sharp. And how it's going to help us. And how we all need to come together. You know, you know that thing. Well, you know, I, uh, I've come to believe, genuinely, that there's something else going on. And I want to share what I think it is. Uh, you know, I think... I think that there is an ulterior motive going on. I believe that the powers that be, or I guess the powers that should not be, however you want to look at it, I think that they are extremely concerned with certain topics, uh, namely um, the stripping of resources worldwide. Um, things like the, yeah, the things like, uh, essentially it all boils, it, uh, essentially it all boils down to overpopulation or major themes, uh, major themes within this would be, uh, deforestation, uh, the overfishing, uh, the overfishing of the oceans, uh, the destruction of, of topsoil, um, There's others, but essentially, I think the people that run the world, of course, you know, they're always, they're always wanting to maintain control, right? But I think it's worse than that. I think that they think that the world is terribly overpopulated. Um, and, the, and these same people have been implementing, uh, in, in military parlance, I think it's called full-spectrum dominance. Where they come at you in every single way. Nothing, nothing is to be let. No stone is to be left unturned. They, of course, control the media, right? All the all the major news channels, newspapers, radio stations. Uh, if I remember correctly, they're basically all owned by the top 
five or six corporations in the world. And what I tend to notice is they, they push the same dribble. They push the same message. And that message is uh, it's anti-natalism, right? They, they don't want you having kids. It's, uh, at this point, I think it's fair to say it's, it's anti-capitalistic, um, which I think is their way of saying they, they want to power down I use that term, I use that term, power down. They want to power down the economy systematically. Uh, they, they want to, they want to bring in, uh, they want to bring in, I, I'm scared to even use the term. Um, they they want to bring in a type of development that is sustainable so you can take those two words and put them together. And that basically means that they want to take away... They want to use like eminent domain to take away your private property rights. Um, they, they talk about... They, they want to shove us into megacities. Uh, so, of course, you know, they want to take away our, our, our guns, right... I know that all, I'm sorry, I know all of this may sound a little conspiratorial, but you know, from everything that I have read, everything I've looked at over the years, uh, I have absolutely come to believe that this is true and that this is what these people want to see come to pass. Essentially, they want a one world government that they control where the vast, vast majority of people are poor. They're not allowed anymore to own property. They can't defend themselves with weapons. Um, and uh, and that we should we should you know be happy with this sort of arrangement. In fact, at this point, I think it's fair to say that they they're openly telling us that. I think it was the World Economic Forum. What's his name? Uh, is that Klaus? Klaus Schwab? He made that video a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's already a month ago. A month ago? That World Economic Forum. You will own nothing and you will be happy. So anyway, getting back to what I was saying, you know, the this whole thing with uh, the uh, that that really sharp thing they want to they want to put inside you, you know, I, I think it's BS. Uh, I don't know what it is. At this point, I've watched literally over 20 videos talking about it, probably more. Some very, very scientific. Some so scientific, like I, like I think I kind of consider myself having a pretty good command of the English language, and I'm listening to these people, and they're all like master's degrees, doctors, this and this, and I... I, I've listened to some some videos. I don't even understand what these people are saying. You know, these spike... Oh, so never mind. I was about to say something <laughs> that I shouldn't say. Anyway, so I just wanted to make this message to uh, all the people listening to me. I don't know what you guys think. Um, please feel free to, you know, leave your comments uh, down below. But uh, I think that this is part of of a conspiracy. I do. And I think I mean your your good your guess is as good as mine. Maybe maybe the the goal I mean, if I had to take a guess, I think it's it's they I'm, I'm again, I'm scared to use certain words, right? Cuz I want I don't want to be flagged. Um I think they want what you could call what amounts to forced sterilization. I believe that this uh, the the sharp thing that they want to put in us that it will it's going to have all these negative side effects. Most will not show up immediately. Some will, and apparently that's what's happening. Uh, from what I'm hearing, there's all kinds of uh, um, negative. Uh, side effects that are occurring and for the most part the powers that be are covering them up but I think it's becoming so large 
uh, they won't be able, they won't be able to for much longer. But they're still going to push this as hard as possible, as long as possible. Um, yeah, your guys' guess is as good as mine. I think it's some sort of. I think the ultimate goal again is forced or coerced depopulation. These people are deathly afraid of us destroying the earth. Resources are finite. There's only so much land. And I, I think I think that they think that the planet would be much more easily, um, I don't know, managed or basically uh, we, we, we they want us to live in perpetual harmony with the planet. And I'm not, you know, I in in a way I agree with them. I don't think that it's good to. Uh, I think we should lower the population. I just uh, I don't believe in. Um, it's called it's just called eugenics. So just think, you know, just to dry because there's no other way to describe. It. Just to, if you guys don't know what eugenics is, look it up. I don't believe in negative eugenics. I, I guess I, I I believe maybe in positive eugenics. Um, yeah, and you can look that up. But I think what this is is a form of negative eugenics, kind of like what you know. You know those guys back in Germany in the 30s, what they were doing? That's that's negative. That's negative eugenics. But, like, for example, a, an example of positive eugenics would be what the Greeks would do in, uh, in ancient times. In ancient times, the Greeks, um, every four years, uh, they would stop all war. All war in, in the Peloponnesus, all, all war in, in Greece would stop. Um, and all the city states would send their best uh, tribesmen uh, and, and women uh, to uh, to compete, and, and they call this the Olympics, right? The Greeks were started by uh, the Olympics were started by the Greeks. And every four years, all war would cease. They would all get together and they would all compete. And just like today, back then, uh, you know, you could win the, the gold, the silver, the bronze. Well. Also, what you guys may not have known is the people that would win, um, they essentially became celebrities. They became like almost like a living legend. Maybe not a legend, but they became celebrities in their own time. And they didn't have to pay taxes. Once you won the gold, silver, or bronze, you, afterwards you would return to your city-state, whatever, uh, Th Thebes, Thebes, uh, Thebes... Uh, whatever, Corinth, Athens, Sparta, wherever, and you became famous. You were like the, you know, the big guy on the block, and the government wouldn't charge you any taxes. Well, guess what? Now that you don't pay taxes, guess who can afford to have more children? Guess who can afford to maintain larger families? And then these, they, these people would have more children, and then so I guess the basic idea is that since over time, the best, if you want to call them the best, the best, the brightest, the biggest, the strongest, the smartest, they over time would have more children. And then those children would go would, would inherit would inherit the good characteristics of their parents. And then they would you know meet someone and, and procreate. And so over time the the general the overall stock of that given group of people would would rise. Anyway, sorry, that's a, that's a crash course in, uh, in eugenics, positive eugenics, negative eugenics. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm worried. I, I have no intention on taking this, uh, this sharp little, this sharp little uh, thing that they're trying to get in me. I have, I have no desire for it. I, I'm totally against it. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm sorry. Now I'm going long. I just I just wanted to make that video. Uh, I just wanted to make this video and share with you guys my thoughts. I've been look. I've been watching and listening, and from everything I'm seeing, this this thing is fishy. This I don't. I, at first, I believed it. I really did, especially for the first I don't know four months, six months, whatever. For months, I believed it, but I don't believe it anymore. I think uh, I think there's something much larger going on, and I think it's nefarious. 
So I'll, I'll leave it at that. And I'd recommend to all of you... Power off. Uh, and I'd recommend to all of you... Uh, don't, don't get it. Don't get it unless you're really sure. And I don't know. And if you're really sure, then I'd say I don't know. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. Now I'm going long. Um, all you guys uh, have a good rest of your day. Uh, if you like the video, please comment down below. Please, uh, please like, please subscribe, please share, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. All right, MGTOW up.